A surprise birthday party is supposed to be filled with a lot of happiness, but for a Wilkesbury man, he nearly died in the middle of it, unaware of the battle going on inside his body. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller is here to explain. Mark, Nick, this near tragedy happened in January 2018 at a restaurant in Hanover Township, but that man is now sharing his survival story thanks to a life-saving technique. I would say shocked. Um, you know, I had, I had very little memory of the event. What 55-year-old Lonnie Truskowski is describing is the night he went into sudden cardiac arrest, the abrupt loss of heart function. I, I didn't have any of, the, any of the classic symptoms either to make me think that there was a, an issue. Collapsed and within minutes of death at a friend's surprise birthday party, good fortune stepped in. One of the party guests was a physician. He started CPR. And from what I'm being told, he actually started, he coached other people on how to do it. That, that's a pretty lucky break. Interventional cardiologist Bradley Fenster sees his fair share of patients whose lives were saved thanks to CPR. More than I can remember, more, more, than, more than I can count at this point. Still, only about one in 10 cardiac arrest patients survives. But the odds of survival nearly triple if someone who knows CPR springs to action. Certainly at some schools it's being taught. If it was taught at every school, then we'd have a you know, new generation of people that all knew CPR. The American Heart Association sponsors the program called CPR in Schools. It teaches students the two simple steps of hands-only CPR and other life-saving skills. Truskowski, for one, is glad that in his darkest hour, someone knew how. And yeah, it's just, it's a lifesaver, obviously. Truskowski underwent quadruple bypass surgery and now has a defibrillator implanted in his chest to help keep his heart in perfect rhythm. Head to PAHomepage.com to learn more about CPR in schools and even some online courses available to learn CPR. With the Health Beat, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.